بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ گائز دس از دا لاسٹ ویڈیو آف آور سیریز ہیلم آر او سی ڈی امیج اپ ڈیٹر آن اے ڈبلیو ایس ای کے ایس کلسٹر ود کیڈ اپس اپروچ رائٹ سو ان دس ویڈیو واٹ ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ایم گوئنگ ٹو سیٹ اپ دا آر او سی ڈی فار یو گائز سو واٹ یو نیڈ ٹو ڈو سمپلی نیویگیٹ ٹو دا سیم ریپو نیویگیٹ ٹو دا ریڈ می ایم ڈی right uh, in that particular section i've added the argo cd installation is pretty much simple so uh, uh, i'm go- what i'm going to do before that i just want to show you one more step um, if you want to use um, gui and we are going to import our cluster so what i'm going to do i'm going to use my access keys and secret access key as this is the sandbox environment so that's why i'm showing you uh, these keys right so and this environment is going to be destroyed after this video so i'm going to use uh, this command aws uh, configure so i'm going to provide my access key and secret access key right so region is going to be us east one right so i'm going to use this default region and um, default output format uh, is json you can use the txt as well uh, which is text so guys uh, now what uh, we are going to do um, we are going to uh, import our cluster so aws eks uh, update qconfig uh, qconfig uh, right and uh, the name of the cluster is cloud geeks eks dev and uh, the region is going to be us uh, east one right so let's try to do that and uh, it has added the configuration uh, for that i just want to remove the existing stuff uh, from my existing uh, configuration which is also from the sandbox environment so let me do that so remove this particular file um, in my q directory right and it is going to be config and just want to add this fresh file right so if i do kubectl get nodes you will see i guess one node uh, cluster which i've spin up for this demo um, is with version 1.23 right so uh, now what we are going to do um, i'm going to make it big and i'm going to get out the contents of um, this uh, configuration so and the context which we are going to simply add into our um, lens so simply copy this guy and there are other ways to do that i mean simply you need to provide the path of the key so what i'm going to do i'm going to first of all find where the lens is i find it i'm going to open it and i'm going to now uh, add that particular um, cluster so by default uh, you can add a, as many cluster uh, as you want and by default it look uh, looks for the default path which is your home uh, dot cube config so um, the other way you can do that is simply uh, add that um, path you see uh, it is looking that particular fi- uh, file but i uh, i like um, the other way so if you i mean um, you see it is connected because it looks for the default path as i discussed so um, i usually i would like to add the cluster so uh, as we are using the default so let me simply use this so uh, now i'm going to simply click this guy it is going to import this particular cluster so um, uh, now what we are going to do we are going to uh, the installation uh, regarding um, you see one node uh, is already there and if you see when i see port in the default name space uh are nothing in the cube main space you will see cube system uh, some of the pods you will see right but uh, we are looking to uh, do the installation so um, for the installation you need to run this particular command and uh, you need to make sure that cube cdl should be installed in your uh, 
machine but definitely i do recommend to use containers so it will it do not load your machine so definitely um, i'm going to close this guy and i'm going to use the container um, let me show you that part as well if we do docker ps only single container is running with the name asim i'm going to do exactly into this container as i've imported my uh, cluster into this machine so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the installation so i'm going to create this namespace argo cd and uh, context is not found so let me do that as i uh, just removed it previously so aws eks um, update update use the previous command uh, update you config name of the cluster um, cloud geeks eks dev region is going to be us east one so uh create a namespace right uh, it is going to create one namespace and you can check from this uh, lens navigate to the section um, namespaces you see argo cd namespace has been created so what we are going to do navigate to this section and we are going to select uh, this namespace as we are going to use this particular command to uh, set up the latest version of Argo CD. So uh, this is as simple as that. But there are definitely other steps uh, we are going to uh, follow later once the installation uh, has been completed. So uh, let it let's do that and um, it's going to do the installation CRDs and other stuff. Uh, it's going to be automatically. Uh, Set up into your uh, cluster so uh, we will see some of the stuff uh, stuff definitely uh, here in a few moment so now we just have to wait for a while so by the way one thing i just need to tell you that you can use this uh, shell as well to uh, in order to uh, make uh, commands so kubectl is going to be available so kubectl uh, get nodes you can uh, use these as well kubectl sorry i should type kubectl get nodes so your same stuff you can use from this uh, by default terminal provided by the lens so uh, it is creating the stuff right and so let, let's do that and wait for a while so till it completed okay as you see now uh, we are able to see some of the stuff uh, regarding the argo cd what uh, has been done by that particular command and parts are now started to populate here and uh, some of the stuff is in running state and others are in you know pending as well so let it complete and then uh, we are going to from here we are going to actually um, port forward to our um, argo cd to our host machine so uh, it has been completed so navigate to the network section in the services section uh, you will see um, uh, you will see the argo cd server right and i'm not really sure if this is the one Thing. let's try to access this on um, port 80, 80 let's try to access this so okay yeah this is not so simply um what we are going to do um navigate to the port forwarding section i'm going to remove this particular port simply delete it navigate to this section so this is the one um, yeah this is the one 
So I'm going to do the port forwarding on this uh, port. 2880, uh, you will be see the latest uh, version of Argo CD. Simply proceed uh, to localhost, and then we are going to provide the credential. Uh, for providing the credential, I'm not going to use the CLI this time because uh, in other tutorials, you definitely see a lot of stuff uh, from the CLI. So we are going to use a little bit different approach here. We are going to navigate to the section. Uh, for the easier understanding, uh, navigate to the section where uh, we can find our credentials. So click on this config right and click on the secrets. So um, you will see in the Argo CD initial admin secrets. So it is um, in the format of base64. Simply click this guy. These are now converted uh, into actual uh, credentials. So I'm going to simply provide these. And definitely later on, you can update these. Um, update this so i'm going to add one application but before that navigate to the settings section um we need to provide a key because in a real life uh, real uh, live environments um, actually you do provide the actual private key and access the private repos not public repos that's why i made that particular repo is private and that particular repo zip formatted uh, zip is already added in the gitlab so you can download and see that the helm chart right so um, I'm going to call this uh, Cloud Geeks app. Uh, you, you just want to call whatever you want to call. Project is going to be default repository URL. Uh, navigate to your private repository. So guys, this is actually the private, I mean, uh, production stuff I'm sharing with you. So you just want to make sure as a DevOps how you can do stuff uh, securely. So um, the URL is going to be uh, this one, uh, SSH and we are going to create a key um, and the key uh, we are going to create which is going to be accept, accepted by uh, the argo cd is ed25519 this is the format it is actually accepting uh, the key used so i'm going to show you uh, the simplest way to create this and uh, open the cli right and um, i'm going to uh, you can use uh, this is mounted on my host machine so i'm going to simply paste this command it is going to create ask for the uh, passphrase i'm not going to do that so it has created this cloud geeks uh, this is the private key and this is the public key definitely i'm going to add the public key um, in my github and the private key i'm going to provide it but um, okay let me show you that i'm going to remove it later so let me show you this these private keys so these are the private keys so i'm going to provide this particular private key in, by this by using this format and uh, i'm going to add it here right so before saving it what i need to i need to add this key uh, in my section here in the github if you use the other repositories uh, you can use that so let me add uh, this particular public key so let me do that so let me do that and so guys i have added that particular public key let's try to uh, verify i mean i mm, let's let's try to save it um, let's try to click the connect so you see it is now successful now uh gitlab sorry uh this Argo CD has access to that particular uh, repo, right? And uh, it is going to, um, you know, spin up our application. But what we need to do now, we need to create, uh, create new app. I'm going to give this name. You can definitely give this any name. I'm going to uh, call this Cloud Geek CA app project is going to be this one um, manual sync no i just want to say automatic sync i'm going to click this auto cell field what these are values you can read from by scrolling and see the detail uh, from the internet as well because uh, for the time i can't cover every step here but what it does um, okay that is fine and uh, if i navigate to this section simply click this as um, it is going to um use the head 
for the latest changes and path is going to be this you see helm chart and uh, i've already shown you guys the helm chart so let me navigate back to this section and show you that particular helm chart and i just want to show you that it is already um, included as a zip format so if i navigate to this section um Sorry, uh, navigate to the navigate to this section, and I've included in the helm. You see, this is the zip I've already included uh, for you guys for uh, better understanding. So navigate back to the CACD section, right? So uh, this is the helm chart. This is the values dot ML. It is going to automatically update it. So um, other than that, um, simply click this guy. It is going to pick up your cluster uh namespace um it is asking for the namespace of your application i'm going to call this create a namespace cloud geeks but it is going to fail uh, because i need to check one value from here uh how to create names just check this guy then it will create the namespace for your application and uh, helm value file values file is going to be this if you want to edit these uh, values there is no need to do that from here because we are actually uh, doing the stuff automatically from the script uh, which we are handling it so simply uh, create application so um, by doing that what it does uh, we have uh, provided the privileges to create a namespace it is going to create a namespace with the application you see uh, it is it seems to be healthy so if I navigate to this section, uh, it should create new namespace cloud geeks and it is going to spin up uh, what spin up container for us. Uh, sorry, I mean pod in that particular um, section. Now um, what we are going to do, uh, we want to um, actually update our application. First of all, I need to show you this application by doing the port forwarding and uh, okay so let me do the port forwarding to this part click on this guy and do the port forward scroll it down and i think uh, this option is now available previously it was there might be updated uh, in, you need to navigate to the uh, services section okay uh, this is the storage and navigate to the section network in network we have services and the service name is cloud geeks i'm going to do the port forwarding to this guy let's say port forward to 9095 and we are going to do the port forwarding to this uh, you see this is our application uh, available right and now uh, what i can do uh, i just want to have uh, three ports and I just want to update my application automatically and in it should be uh, do the automatic update of image updater uh, that is what we are doing through the GitOps approach as I discussed in my past video how it is going to do that so uh, I need to make a commit with my new version so um, I just want to uh, show you the version is going to be updated so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clone this repo locally and I'm going to update in my application. And instead of three ports, I just want to run uh, two ports. So let me clone uh, this uh, particular repo, right? And uh, I will be back with you guys in a moment. So let me navigate to the section files, right? So guys, what I'm doing here, uh, I just want to show you, I'm going to clone this repo on my desktop and I'm going to open this guy in my VS code, right? I just want to show you the update, which I'm going to do uh, in my application. Um, I, we are assuming that we are going to do, as a developer, we are going to do the commit. So what we are going to do, uh, I'm going to show you the real uh, use case scenario and this is my application you see the color uh, is in blue state i'm going to click this guy and over it and i just wanna say that new version of my application is going to be green um right and i just want to make a commit but before that as i discussed i need to uh, update the ports i just uh, this is not just required you see previously we 
are having uh, three replicas let me show you from the from the lens as well uh navigate to the section workloads parts you see we have three uh and if i navigate from the navigate to the um, um argo cd you can see three parts are up and running and and this is the deployment right so uh now we're just going to make a thing a single commit and it is going to update our image build the image reduce the size of port and let's do that uh, i'm going to call this new version uh, new version is um, uh, is green new version green um one two replicas let's try to uh, make a commit and seeing the changes right so as a GitOps approach, what it does, it is going to um, make a commit in this uh, pipeline, and this pipeline is going to be uh, triggered. So you will see that um, it is going to be automatically triggered, and do the build for us, and do the automatic uh, deployment by uh, uh, by using by making a commit. So I've uh, covered all the steps and workflow uh, what you need. So this will take a little while so till then i'm going to pause the video and also uh, i just want to navigate to the section i'm going to stop the port forwarding uh, to this application so and also i just need to show you that uh, the changes once happened uh, when we reached that particular last step of deployment uh, in this Part. let me show you let me close the other stuff so you will see uh, you will get a better understanding so click this pipeline i mean in the next section so in this step um uh, deploy when we reach that particular uh, stage it is going to do the commit into that particular repo so currently we are in the build phase which has been completed all the steps are going to be done which i've already shown you guys and the new version are going to be pushed to the uh, to the ecr repo and uh, we should be able to see but uh, the new version by doing the port forwarding so currently we're not doing the port forwarding uh, forwarding you see um, because we have um, i've already closed it so uh, let's wait for a while till the pipeline reaches this stage i'm going to pause the video so guys, uh, let's see the status and um, you see this is running and uh, we are in this phase, uh, which is the third phase pushing to ECR and the new version um, has been pushed to ECR and see this particular um, repo should have uh, image take. So, sorry, uh, I need to navigate to the ECR and then um, you will see that and that particular tag is going to be um, should be available so click on this repository and this tag uh, 27 number has been pushed right and you see it has been successfully pushed uh, so navigate to the section pipelines um, click on this right you see this part is done testing is done we are now on the deploy phase so this is our pipeline running uh, on the deploy phase. So I'm showing you all the steps. Um, then what it does, uh, it is going to, then what happened, um, it is not actually updating the, I mean, any stuff in the Kubernetes. What, uh, what is going to be done, all the stuff, it is going to look for the, I mean, um, all our repo and see is there any change so what we are doing he, uh, here automate in automated way by using the simple batch script simply doing the commit in our repo and uh, we are going to update the image uh, through the uh, commit uh, which i've already shown you guys um, and the image tag is going to be automatically uh, put into that particular um, section you see so now um, what we are doing here actually um, okay uh, by uh, currently we have this tag uh, which uh, which has been used 
because I'm doing the cat. Uh, so this is the existing tag uh, with the, you know, I guess blue version I've shown you guys. So once it has been updated, it is going to do, we are going to do uh, the update with the a new tag. You see, this is the image tag with 27 number tag. And simply uh, we are going to run this image and uh, simply what it does, it is going to update this um, values.yml file with the new uh, version and the new version has got the updated tag and so uh, the new version uh, you will see that uh, uh, you will see let me show you that part uh, should have the tag number 27 you see this is the tag and uh, if i navigate to the section uh, in the values.yml you see uh, this is the tag 26 if i refresh it it should be 27 it is not 27 and you will see the last commit is this uh, which has been done about one minute ago. So navigate to the section uh, in the in the in the Argo CD. Uh, so it will uh, by default take about uh, three minutes, right? So um, what we are going to do to make it uh, do it quickly, we are going to do the refresh. And uh, what you see, it does. It is now starting the update. You see, automatically things are going to be updated and you will see the same um, commit id so uh, the head is this 7e442 the uh, do see right so 7e42d2c uh, so uh, this is the git of uh, approach guys so uh, we have now reduced our ports to size 2 and let me do the port forwarding uh, so you see there are now two ports navigate to the section um, services uh, do the port forwarding uh, click on this guy and do the port forwarding to any of the port and we should be able to see our new build you see this is the green version so that is how uh, the GitOps approach work we have done the automated deployment to uh, helm argo cd Terraform GitOps approach. Uh, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. And have a nice day.